some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we follow Katie Kidman's delusional acolyte as he attempts to follow in her footsteps by auditing another school, which doesn't work out too well for him. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up, people? This is Sheep Show, and I am born again. All right, the trolls kept telling me that it was illegal to film at a school district and that I was going to get arrested just like Katie Kidman. But a wise man once said that the true test of liberty is the right to test it. So I went to a local school district, looked for restricted access, no trespassing signs, and when I happened upon an open gate, I decided to venture forth in the footsteps of Katie Kidman. For those of you that don't know, she was arrested, tried, and convicted for trespassing on school property. I've always maintained and still maintain that her actions were not criminal and did not meet the elements of the criminal statute. Looks like the trolls were right on this one and I was wrong. Eating troll crow sucks. Let's have a look at what led up to my arrest. No trespassing. I didn't see anything that said authorized personnel only when I came in. Nothing. This video is rather long, so I'm going to have to cut out a lot of material. So just bear with me. Five minutes later. This is the central kitchen where apparently... Uh, this is where they get all of the food for the little for the little chitlins. Yeah, he's on school property, and now we gotta worry about him contaminating the food. This is where they uh, get all of the food for the little kids. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. I can help you. Um, I'm from the district office. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, gathering content for us for a story. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're you're doing an audit, huh? Oh wow, word is actually spreading about you idiots. So now maybe they'll start making laws that are specifically designed to prevent you from doing this. Can, can we go over here because I can't, because of why the bus? We, why don't we go up to the front? Yeah, let's do that. Oh. Just away from this bus engine because I can't really hear what you're saying because of that bus engine. I don't know how old you are, but, you know, my ears, they ain't so good anymore. Especially those low, those low tones like that. They, mess, they jack me up. Yeah. So you were saying that you're from you're from the district office? Yeah, I work in human resources. So oh, okay, cool, cool, through. cool. Yeah. Man, that bus is like the only thing I can hear. That's crazy. All right, this is much better. All right, so what were you saying? I think we're gonna head up to the front. Yeah, we just have to walk oh. up here. Okay. All right. This way. This way. This way. Many hours later. See the sign out in the front? No, I'm referring to the signs on the gate that I checked before I before I went past the gate. Got it. I see what you're saying. So I read that one there, and that one doesn't say anything about no trespassing. And then I read that one there, and you have the gate open. So it says right here, notice employees only, vendors and visitors must register at main office. Let me see. Right there. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. You ought to. You ought to change that and, and put it. Put it down over here. Oh, great. He's telling them how to do their jobs. You know what? The first clue to this place being restricted should have been the whole fenced-in area. You moron. Five minutes later. Hey, I just had a conversation with Carlos out there in the back. Okay. And I told him I was here and what I wanted, and I was coming in here to the office to see if I could get some additional information that he couldn't answer for me. What kind of information are you looking for? Well, I'm trying to get information on the uh, California Ed Code and what their policy is on filming 
uh, little kids at elementary schools and whether or not that, if that is prohibited in the education code. It's all online. And, the ed code's online. And, and I understand that and I did search through that. Okay. And the only thing that I could find in the ed code was something that prohibits filming inside the classroom. But my, my specific goal, even though I don't need to have a goal, is that I'm doing a follow-up on, on a very important story and I'm going to gather content out there and that involves filming children. So. Is there any particular school you're looking to... Uh, no, they would just be random local schools in the area. I would just pick a red, and I, I was asking what the closest one to your district office was, so it would just be a random school. It's not a particular school. Are you from this area? Or? Well, I could be. I could be from far away. I don't know. I don't we'll bring you to our district office today. I, I don't really understand the relevance of you know where I'm at. Well, you're causing a disruption in our district office. So. Oh, can you enlighten me on how I'm doing that? Yes, you keep beating on the door. So, just so you know, you don't have permission to film me. If you're filming me, you're doing it illegally, so just so you know. Oh, what law would that be? Could you enlighten me on that as well? If you give me your card, I'll have our attorneys reach out to you. Oh, well, that's not really necessary. You're the one that said it was illegal, so I figured you would know. Because I, I really think that that crosses the line into paranoia. You know, there are certainly a lot of jump cuts in this. I wonder what he's been saying off camera. When you're telling me that people are scared to death because somebody was knocking on a door. Uh, 29 frames per second and it's... It jumped from knocking on doors to 29 frames per second on his camera. What the hell are you talking about between these jump cuts? It's fully automatic. It still doesn't make it a... It does what? It shoots 29 frames per Same second. Shoots. Yeah, it shoots, it shoots 29. What? Shoots video at 29 frames per second. I want to verify when you said it shoots, it kind of, you know, borderlines on shooting something. You know? Are you still trying? I, you know what, sir? You might, you might want to go get a psyche valve if, if you're going to try. If you're going to try. Are you willing to pay for it? If you're going to try, if you're going to, no, you got insurance. But if you're going to try to draw an extra, I had medical, so how do you know I have insurance? But, well, because you, you work for the school district. So if 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 you're going to try to draw the nexus between a camera shooting 29 frames per second and that being a, a threat to a school, I, I really think that you might want to go get checked out. With all the school shootings we've had in the past few years, and not just in the past few years, but for the past two hundred years in this country you think he's crazy for being a little bit cautious you need to be checked out yourself i'm still trying to figure out why you're over here are you us today i i'm sorry i thought that i already explained that to you but do you have students want to try again do you have students in our district do you want me to try again to explain it to you? Do you have students in your district? Do I need to have a student in your Apparently, district? Apparently, it's like you don't, so I'm not understanding you. That was your words, so I'm just giving you back your feedback on them. No, no, I think I'm asking a rational question. Do I need to have a student in the school district to come and ask questions at the school district? You need an appointment to see somebody here. Oh, okay. We have a, a, a telephone number that's posted everywhere, or a website everywhere okay. else. Okay. You call and say, I'd like to set up an appointment with Mr. Moran, for example, oh. right? Uh, in HR. I have some questions oh. for you. And then they set you up in a plane. Well, you must forgive me because I thought the purpose of a public lobby was for the public to go in the lobby and ask and questions. And I was under no. See that little camera that's watching right there? Yeah, I'm recording all of this. So people come that have an appointment, they push the little button, yeah. they say, May I help you? And you say, Yes, I'm here to see Mr. Moran or whoever it is. And yeah. then they buzz you in. And I had no idea that the Adelano School District had a policy, had a written policy that required the public to make an appointment prior to coming to the prior to coming to the law. Yeah, it's recommended, but not necessary. There are so many jump cuts in this so far. It's a jumbled freaking mess. I mean, he jumps from topic to topic between these jump cuts. I don't know whether he's coming or going. City Hall down here, Adelanto City Hall is about mm, half a mile that way. In fact, that building right there on the other side of 395. Yeah, I've been there filming before. They called the police on me. Yeah. yeah. So you're used to this kind of thing. I am. I'm used to tyranny and oppression. Just out of curiosity, why do you keep doing it? Just out of curiosity, uh, my own personal edification as to if you know the outcome of every time you do this, why, what's your purpose? I'm just curious, what's your purpose? Because you, I, I don't want our staff getting upset, being concerned about anybody, you know, doing something. And so uh, well, I guess at the end of the day, my, you know, why do you keep doing it? And, and what is your, like, what is your end game, I guess, out of curiosity? Well, what do you hope to achieve or learn or... You know what happened? God, there was just there was so much in that multi-part question, and there's just so many answers 
But I mean, you don't wake up in the morning and decide you're going to come to a government building. Then there's anything. a part that me that thinks that that's a rhetorical question because no matter what I tell you, you're not going to. Uh, no, matter, just, no, matter, no matter how many reasons I give you, no matter how many reasons I give you, I, I don't think that we're going to come to an agreement and you're going to walk away saying, you know what, I respect your viewpoint, sir, and I support what you are doing. I don't think we're ever going to get there. I think that that bridge is not a bridge; it's a chasm. So I don't think that we're ever going to get there. So you're. Your, your, your question is a little uh, rhetorical, and yeah, okay, you're scaring my staff, that's why. You know what? I'm just going to skip to the end where he gets arrested because these jump cuts are getting a little annoying. The appropriate action to be taken. Yeah. Are you a fraudulent, sir? You like one-sided conversations? Just out of curiosity. Well, I thought you were the one that was interrupting me when I was speaking. Come oh, on, give me your 15 seconds of fame. <laughs> I'm already famous, Michael. I don't need you to give me fame. So I guess we're both filming each other now. You know? I'm so famous and so notorious. I'm also notorious. You know, my picture's up in the Atlanta police station right on the wall. And when, when I go in there, they look at me and then they look at my picture and then they say, Hi, how are you doing? And they call me by my last name. I'm, I'm also notorious. Does that make you proud? No, it makes me uh, upset. Does that make you a productive citizen of society? I think so, yes. And what production have you done for society lately? Well, I think I'm fighting against, if you look at my stated goal, which is my stated mission. Do you, have, very, do you have a manifesto? There he goes interrupting me again. Do See what I mean about rhetorical questions? See what I mean about rhetorical questions and how he interrupts me every time I try to answer? Do you have a manifesto? A manifesto? Do you have a hit list in your manifesto? A hit list? Well, I'm asking you for clarification. You have your stated goals, you said in your manifesto. I didn't say manifesto, I said my stated mission. You better go back and rewind. Well, I certainly will, and if I said manifesto, I apologize. Is there a hit list in your manifesto? Do you certainly. have people that you're targeting? Certainly not. Are you armed? Do you have weapons Absolutely. on you at this time? Absolutely not. That's illegal to bring weapons onto a school. It's also illegal to film. Yeah, I disagree with that. 11824 Air Expressway, Atlanta. It is a school district office. Thank you, sir. Oh my god. Need some water. Yeah, it's scaring the bejeebies out of everybody. I got little kids here coming with their families to try to move their students. Yes, keeping them occupied for the time being. No, he's inside for you. I'm keeping them occupied for like our staff and our students and families. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Did you, did you eat breakfast? Do we want to, you're free to leave any time you want, sir. You're just not free to You're free to go back inside any time you want, sir. I am protecting my staff. From a camera? Okay. You, sir. From you, sir. From me? Yes, sir. You're causing a disruption. Oh. And I will put out a little trespass in on you, just so you're aware. You're going to trespass me? Yes, sir. How are you going to trespass me when you never asked me to leave? I did ask you to leave. Oh, I don't and remember. So did Mr. Moran and so did everyone else that's in there. Oh, I don't remember anybody asking me to leave. Would you like to say it again now on the record, on camera? Thank you, so I'm going to ask you again. Yeah. Are you or are you not asking me to leave, yes or no? I like Rice Krispies. He's not answering me again. There was yet another jump cut immediately after that conversation about asking you to leave. So which leads me to believe you cut off the part that where he asked you to leave once again. Such a devious thing to do. Just out of curiosity. So his intent is to keep me here. I've asked him if he wanted me to leave. He I think lunch juice is what you good too. I like lunch juice a lot. And now he's just acting like a, uh, he's just acting unprofessional. What about apple juice? Do you like apple juice? You'd think that we could get more professionalism for our tax dollars. I mean, look at me. If you want to call me stupid, then that's fine. But Nobody Michael's, Michael, no, stupid. somebody called me a terrorist. Who called you stupid? Tell you me did. Called you called stupid. me a terrorist, and I think terrorists are stupid. Somebody called you stupid? Yeah, you called me a terrorist, and I think terrorists are stupid. Who would call you a terrorist? I think you did, Michael. What's your favorite food? What do you like to eat? Any particular food you like to eat? Michael, you've already uh, made clear your intention. I like a good steak every now. You've already made clear your intention to keep me here for the police. I don't know that there's you got a, a favor. You got that a favor really uh, reason to continue. Steak restaurant you like to go to. But I do appreciate you engaging me in conversation. That's very important. I'm trying to find out more about you. You know, just out of curiosity. 
Oh, look, it's the sheriff's department. Really? Well, I won't we bring them here to our hollow grounds. I've never met this deputy before. He's a new guy. Let's go here. Deputy Lewis. Don't lie, Michael. It's a crime. Five minutes later. So, um, how you doing, sir? I'm blessed all day, every day, and I am well and good. How are you? I'm doing well. Just take note of how close this place is. I need you to set your camera down. Okay. Uh, am I under arrest? Yes. Okay, you got it. Okay, people. I have a little confession for the trolls. This is me after I was released at the scene by Deputy Lewis. We're having a really friendly conversation talking about auditors, airplanes, and how he did a little research and decided that I did not commit a crime after all. Stupid trolls. How many times do I gotta tell you that it's not illegal to film at a school? I filmed Redlands High School and the police told me to have a nice day. I filmed Lompoc Unified School District and the police drove by and didn't even stop to make contact with me. I filmed Miller Elementary School and the police stated that I didn't even commit a crime in spite of the fact that the irresponsible principal put the school on lockdown. Those others, I don't know anything about, but those la that last one, it's obvious that you weren't telling the truth because you were removed from the property by those cops. So, which leads me to wonder, if this visit went the way you said it did, why didn't you post the video? Oh, I know why. Because it wouldn't fit your narrative. And if you keep this up, you're gonna find out the hard way, just like Katie Kidman did.